Hi folks, I'm from HighlandAndroid.com where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, if you want to try to get a really cool ROM, check out this ROM. This is actually based on the S6 Edge. Uh, it's going to turn your Note 3 into an S6 Edge. You can install this on many variants, including the SMN9005, also the T-Mobile or Canadian. Now, Canadian or T-Mobile one, um, the NFC is broke, but everything else works. Also, I think you can install on the Korean SK Telecom version. Also, you can install a Japanese version. I'll show you the actual ROM installer, which shows uh, which devices you can install. Now, this ROM is really, really cool. Uh, performance is all right. I mean, it's not the uh, fastest performance I've seen. It is comparable to a stock Android 5.0.2 uh, Lollipop ROM. Now, you will see that Dark Lord S6 Beta ROM here, and you'll see that the device name has changed uh, to S6 Edge and the model number SMG9250. Now, the actual Edge functionality, the contacts, is actually not work because you don't have an Edge screen and you can't actually do it. So I just highly suggest turning that off. You can go to Edge screen right here. Um, go ahead and turn this off, All right? Or actually, you could probably leave the Edge lighting on. Just turn People Edge off because otherwise you'll have a little tab on the right. Uh, other than that, it's a full S6 Edge ROM. It's really cool. You can actually um, get all the different th things from the S6 and S6 Edge. Uh, you can go ahead and go to the store and download the latest Iron Man theme, uh, a bunch of other themes. So that is really nice. So first thing, theme is really nice. Uh, as far as other things on here, you'll get uh, even S6 Edge camera. That's probably the next coolest thing. Now, not everything works on here, but you'll be able to enjoy most of what uh, S6 and S6 Edge users are enjoying. And let me go ahead and show you the settings here. Uh, you will still get a 4K UHD video if you need it. Let me go ahead and show you that that's working fine. All right. And I actually haven't tested the video quality. Uh, it could be better or it could not be better. I'm not sure. Also, you've got the HDR. And also, let's go ahead and check out the front camera real quick. Of course, the uh, heart rate sensor, it's not going to work since your Note 3 does not have a heart rate sensor. Uh, but the option is there, which is really cool. And let's actually go into settings real quick. Uh, you can do uh, gesture control now, uh, I think. Here we go. All right, gesture control does not work, but uh, probably not a huge deal. Uh, but the beauty face should work. All right, I think it's working. I'm not sure. Some of the modes don't work, so be aware of that. Wide selfie, I don't think it works. Virtual shots, all this. All right, you'll be able to get a bunch of different modes. Let's see if the pro mode works. That's going to be really cool if it does work. All right, guys, um, so let me see if I can change the white balance. Yep, white balance works just fine. Set it back to auto. Uh, as far as the focusing, uh, focusing doesn't work. So the manual mode, I guess, is not probably usable. Ah, it's giving me an error. There we go. Um, so I don't actually recommend using it. Um, so just be aware, uh, some things might not work. All right, this camera isn't perfect by any means. Um, there may be bugs. Um, so if you don't like it, you can always go back to the regular Note 3 camera. Uh, but as far as basic uh, photos and videos, should work just fine. The lighting is just awful. Sorry about that. Anyway, just go ahead and try it out. If you don't like it, you can always reinstall the ROM uh, with the Note 3 camera. All right, also for wallpapers, of course, you get all of the wallpapers from the S6 and S6 Edge. I know a lot of you are really into the new wallpapers, <laughs> wallpapers. Um, so definitely check that out also. But otherwise, this ROM is pretty flawless. You get all the features uh, from an S6 Edge. Of course, uh, your floating window is still working. And of course, the best thing about this one is actually it's better than an S6 Edge uh, since it's also, also does come with an S Pen capability. So it's a hybrid ROM. It's really cool. Um, you'll have full use of your S Pen apps, uh, S Pen capability. So overall, I would say this is a pretty good start. Of course, there will be a lot more cool ROMs like this. But for right now, you can pretty much run all of your favorite uh, S6 apps right here, right there. Uh, S Health, Peel, uh, Voice Recorder, My Files, everything is from the S6 Edge. So definitely check it out. Also, it does come with Viper for Android. Other uh, car mode, 
and actually I forgot to show you some more stuff in settings. You, you do get additional uh, stuff like floating messages you can use, also uh, motions and gestures, of course. And other than that, it's a pretty solid experience. Again, for T-Mobile users, you may lose NFC. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Aroma installer and let me go ahead and show you a brief guide on installation. All right guys, installation is pretty easy. Just do volume up center home and power button boot into your recovery. Let go of all the buttons. All right, once in recovery, you can use Torp or Clock My Recovery. Uh, make sure you format system. For CWM recovery, you'll have to go to mounts and storage Format system, and this really clears up your system partition. Go back and then do a wipe data factory reset. And then go ahead and install the ROM. All right, go to install zip, zip from SD card, download, and we're gonna go ahead and choose the dark load S6. Let me go ahead and show you what the Aroma installer looks like. All right, you have choice between English or Vietnamese for installation. That's only for installation, guys. All right, this ROM can be installed on N9005, also the T-Mobile N900T or N900W8 Canadian version, also Korean version. Wow, that's a new one. And also Japanese version and Galaxy SJ. I've got the T-Mobile version here, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose T-Mobile. By the way, for T-Mobile version, just because some things are different, uh, your NFC will be broke, but everything else works that I've checked. You can also choose different cameras here. Um, if you, you can first go ahead and install camera, S6 camera. If that doesn't work out for you, you can reinstall it uh, with Note 3 or Note 4. I do highly recommend the Dark Queen kernel, uh, but this time I'm going to try the stock kernel because I don't know if that will actually fix uh, NFC. I'm going to find out here. That's pretty much it. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you can now turn your Note 3 into S6 Edge. Of course, some features that require the hardware of the S6 Edge, like fingerprint and the heart sensor is not gonna work, but the, actually the software is in there. You just can't use it. Uh, also the S6 uh, Edge screen abilities. Other than that, it's a pretty solid ROM, a uh, fun ROM to play with. Also, the good thing is the camera actually, you know, half ass works, actually works for most photos and videos, most basic ones. Um, so looking really good. So definitely check it out. As far as just the ROM itself, it's actually pretty stable. Um, you shouldn't have any problems with it for most apps. So do let me know what you think. And as always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. Uh, and also we do have a giveaway for LG G4. Also, uh, we have that big Android giveaway. We'll be giving away this ASUS. Uh, it's been sitting on my desk. I have not touched it since I unboxed it. Um, just because I... Pfft, I just feel like I don't like it that much. But I know some of you will love it, so that's why I'm giving it out. So don't forget to sign up for those contests. We're giving out a total of seven different things. Also, I have more stuff coming. Uh, this is all on my main channel. Um, don't forget to subscribe there. Aki has sent me a bunch of uh, quick chargers. So this is a quick charging USB power bank, a quick charging, quick charging AC adapter for five ports. For your car, everything quick charging. If you have an S6 or S6 Edge, uh, or HTC One or G4, you can make use of these turbo chargers. Also, Aki's sending me more of these, so I can give them out. I'm gonna give all of these out. Uh, hopefully, I have time to give them out. There's so many giveaways, 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 driving me actually nuts right now because uh, I want to really make videos about Android. Anyway, getting back to the story, I'll see you guys soon. I'll stay on Android.